Hey, Kevin John, Black Hollywood Live, standing here near the 50-yard line for Eric Dickerson's first annual Youth Warriors football camp. Though these kids may not be celebrating in the traditional Father's Day, we have the silly Marcus Allen that loves to come up and photobomb, but you'll see him and a lot of other fun mentors out here. Kevin John for Black Hollywood Live, standing here at Crenshaw High School next to one of the greatest all-time NFL rushers, Mr. Marcus Allen. So Marcus, you came out today to celebrate Eric Dickerson's football camp. What was it that inspired you to get involved with this? Well, first of all, Eric is one of my, uh, one of my best friends and stuff, and I like the fact that he's been working with one Young Warriors, who uh, is a program that uh, deals with kids that don't have dads. Mm -hmm. And so I think combining this football camp with uh, the Young Warriors program, I think, on, on Father's Day clearly was something I think is a, a, a good idea. Um, listen, I, I was lucky enough to, you know, to have my role model, which was my dad, uh, right across from the dining room table. So I didn't have to go far looking for one and stuff. And so um, I know next to uh, the parent, the dad, uh, coaches are probably the number one people that impact kids, so uh, it's good to get them out, out here on the football field and, and really sort of teach them, you know, some football skills, but more importantly tell them that, uh, you know, we love them, that they're valuable, uh, that they can accomplish anything they want in life. Uh, we just want to show them that we care. Uh, and, you know, that's, re that's really good because, like you said, the lack of fatherhood in their life obviously does impact them. Why is it so significant and vital for them to have that male influence in their life? Well, I know, first of all, you want to be loved. Mm -hmm. um, secondly, I think, uh, you know, we, we, I always liked to emulate my dad when I was growing up. I mean, I wanted his approval. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think because I wanted to, you know, to know that I was doing a good job mm -hmm. uh, or being a good kid. And I think those are important elements to kids when they're growing up. Uh, mm -hmm. They want to be loved. Yeah, and and when there is a parent that isn't there, they wonder why. Uh, is it not because is it is it my fault uh, um, that my dad is not here? Is it my fault? I mean, so they take those things personally, and it, it scars them, mm -hmm. you know, for the rest of their lives. If people don't come in and tell them differently, mm -hmm. uh, don't show them differently that uh, they're valuable, that they care, you know, they're cared for, and that they we want the best for them. All those things. Uh, you know, you, you, you really can't talk about it. Right? Get sort of deep. You know what I mean? It's it's a it's a subject that uh, I think haunts um, you know, our society. Uh, you know, our look, culture. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you look at all the crime and stuff, and mm -hmm. I think the statistics show that most of those uh, males that commit crimes don't have dads. You yeah. know, so um, I'm one of the lucky ones and stuff. My father's still living. He's been a great father. Um, I became a father. I'm. Um, I have an 18 month old uh, son at home and now for me personally there's no other job that's important this is the most important job I have and I, I shouldn't say job but it's the more important thing I have to do is raise my child and tell him that he is he's he's valuable he's the most important thing in the world to me and um, if I can get that across I think he'll be a good kid well I definitely know who I'm putting my vote in for father of the year <laughs> no, I, well, I waited a long time but uh, I guess because I waited so long it'd be it, it's, it's it's more important to me and I think I take it more seriously now and stuff but also the fact that I have a great father who taught me so much and 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 the reason I am the where I you know, I am today and, and accomplished all the things that I can just because of my, because of my dad and my mom. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. It's to, it, that's the truth. All right, last question. Eric Dickerson's coveted single season rushing record, 2105, <laughs> has stood for over 30 years. Yes. Do you think that it has a chance of being broken anytime soon? Uh, I really don't. <laughs> oh. I really don't. There was a time. You know, the game is cl clearly changing and. Yeah. Um, I think uh, AP came very a, close. Yeah, AJ Peterson came extremely close. And, and matter of fact, I was with Eric uh, the day that um, uh, he was about to break the record, and Eric was clearly nervous and stuff. And I would call him and 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 and, and mess with him and tell him that yeah, it's going down. <laughs> and 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 you know what? Uh, I don't think he appreciated <laughs> yeah. it. I think he really. You know what? Records are certainly made to be broken, but that's one record that I think is great that he loved, that he embraces, and yeah. and if he wants anybody to break it, he wants his son to break it, not not anybody else. So. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So that's it. We'll see. We'll see to that. Well, he's not just a stand-up man on the football field; he's clearly a stand-up man off the field as well. Marcus Allen, thank you so much. We my, appreciate my this. My pleasure, man. Thank